Hey guys, I am doing a sneak peek behind the scenes of sh showing you some things of the virtual workshop. I know when you kind of just think of terms of virtual workshop, you really kind of don't know what to expect. So I'm just going to go in here and show you um, just a little bit of what to expect when you purchase. So we're going to log in as a user. And this is pretty much what you would see when you first come in. So you're going to start your lecture. And when you start your lecture, you will have your 45 page module, which is here. Then we'll go into some welcome. Just welcome you guys. This is a section for Q&A. If you have any questions throughout the course, you will go to this section and just plug in your question. And then I would immediately get the question and then I would immediately go in and give you an answer. Right. Um, this is a section for any kind of testimonials of uh, any kind of feedback that uh, past students have that has taken the course. So this is where we would get into module one, right? Um, we'll get into the introduction, uh, talking about a little bit about pipe and drape. We'll talk about the base component, the basic components, as well as the base plates and various different plates. Um, also crossbars, uprights. Then I'll show you an actual um, detailed video um of different uprights and you know why you should get some as opposed to getting others right then we get into different types of fabric right and i get into another video showing you actual different types of fabric and really just going into detail like um the benefits of some and then the headaches of others right then we get into some accessories and hardware and this would be all like um going into detail about different um, crossbar hangers, a bunch of different hardware and accessories that you would eventually need for your backdrops if you're doing like some any kind of intricate designs, right? Um, and then we get into the elements of design. And this is kind of really, this is what I use when I am constructing my design, right? This is really what helps me how to pair up my colors. This is really what helps me where to focus on my swags. Um, I get into negative space and positive space and sight lines and things like that, right? Then we get into module two. Module two is where you're going to um, prep for your event, right? And I just break down some ways that it will save you a lot of time and, um, you know, just different things you can do to maximize mainly on your time and get things done efficiently so you can kind of uh, fool proof your method. So that's the we get into the introduction. Then I talk about sketching. Um, sketching is great for if you visually just need to look at something and kind of get it into your mind, right? And then at the bottom in the bonuses, I actually have some sketches down there where you can just color in um, so you can kind of see how your uh, backdrops appear with the colors. But sketching, I talk about sketching. I also talk about toolkits, like what you should have in your toolkits. Um, there's a lot of things in there that may seem redundant or may seem like, well, why should I need that? I'd rather you just put the items in your toolkit as opposed to be at an event. <laughs> it's happened to me. And you are out of something that you need to make this thing work. And then you left, you know, you got to be a, a MacGyver and jerry rig some stuff. Good thing that we are creative, so we do tend to make it work. But if we can have properly um, prepared toolkits, then why bother, right? Just have the items with you on hand. Um, then I get into some fabric bolts, just um, telling you the benefits of buying bolts as opposed to going retail all the time. Um, so I touch on, you know, uh, the benefits of sewing your bolts there. And then transporting. Transporting is big because some people buy equipment and don't even think of this, right? They don't think about how they're going to transport it. So they end up purchasing units that are too big or, you know, um, something that they can't put in a car or something like that. So I go into details about that. And then, then we get into design, which is module three. This is one of my favorite modules because they get into design, right? It gets into the fun part. So we go into introduction, then we go into pipe and drape assembly. Um, I'm going to actually go in here just to kind of give you guys some sight on the back end. Not going to show the whole thing, but I'm going to show you some clips on what to expect. So this is assembly. Let's discuss your basis. One key important tip to remember 
uh, the different um, reasons that these holes are in your bases. Almost all the time, you're generally going to use the lip, which is for any standard treatment, any kind of backdrops, because that's where you get the most support. However, if you need something such as a corner, like if you're doing perimeter treatment and you have to put a base in the corner, that is when you would use this hole. Or if you Did you guys know that? I didn't at first. So that's that. Let's see what else we have. That's talking about pipe and drape assembly. Um, now let's we'll in module three, right? Okay, so pipe and drape assembly. Then we talk about the two different threading techniques, right? And then um, also measuring your fabric. Um, this I really recommend for newbies or people that's just getting into draping, although you won't have to do it all the time. But this gives, this kind of trains your eye, right? Like now I can do a design and step back and I immediately know if I'm three inches off. Um, and sometimes if, you know, I'm, I need just added security just to be sure, I'll whip out my little measuring stick and um, or measuring tape and make sure. So let's just see a little bit about that. Okay, so now we're going to get into measuring. And measuring, I always use a flexible measuring tape. That's my little measuring tape. Keep one just as long as it is covering at least six feet. So I would always measure from end to the center of my backdrop because you all. Okay, that's another cool little tip I just gave you guys. Cool little tip. So let's go back into module three. Now we're talking about hand techniques. This is like the fruit of everything, right? Um, I go into the mechanics. That's a pretty long video. It's almost 10 minutes, but that's uh, that, that's actual detailed training and like one of the most neediest parts. Um, then I get into pole covers, like so important. Um, polishing and puddling. I got a lot of feedback about this little clip, although it's only five minutes. I got so much feedback on how this one was helpful. Um, and helping people create polished backdrops because a lot of people forget about that or maybe they didn't know about that or once they learn this technique, they're like so, their confidence is in instantly boosted. So that was pretty cool that that was a big takeaway for some. Then I talk about another technique for entrances. I go and show you guys that. And then there is... Um, Second layer, now we're doing, this is a pretty long video because this is actually designing your backdrops. So let's just peek at what it is you'll see, right? So let's just see. Oh my gosh. Now we are going to stack your original all white backdrop with an additional layer using only one crossbar. And this is the up and over method. Ha ha. <laughs> you guys got to purchase it if you want to see the rest. Um. But what else is there? Creating a second layer. Okay, so that was pretty long. Then the draping method number one. Then creating a third layer with a cross with a crisscross on a single bar. That's pretty long too. So that's like a really extensive. Um, and I'll I'll jump around just so you guys can actually see. Okay, so now guys, I am going to show you a super easy quick technique that a lot of people think in order to get three layers, they need uh, crosswire hangers. And that is the- Oh yeah, so that one was um, showing you how to just really add three different layers on one bar. I'm gonna show you how to make them a little more romantic so it looks a little airy, a little more flowy. Let's get into that next. Then just changing up your designs. To, just to make them longer. How to secure them. That's making your scallops a little wider. It's really clean. Um, so you can pick whichever one that is appropriate for the tone. Okay. I'm going to show you the side by side photo so you can see the Oh, the side by side. Okay. So, yeah, that was just, a, although it's a triple layer, that's only one crossbar, right? So then we get a little further. Let's go a little further along. And now we have 
Not module four. Now we're getting into customizing, right? This is when we get into the embellishments. This is when we get into um, more premium fabric and more um, th different things like um, crystal curtains and things like that, right? So let's, and, and chandeliers, let's get into that. Okay, so this is a double crossbar design. And we go from beginning to end on how to construct this whole entire thing, right? That's just a photo. And so now let's jump into the video. Now the video was almost an hour long, it's 68 minutes. So, cause it was a lot, it really was a lot, but at least you got it piece by piece. Show you guys how to really attach that without um, show you how to do that without, um, you know, using any kind okay, of. So now I'm going to show you guys how to make a panel using pens. Oh, yeah, pen it without when it doesn't have a rod pocket, right? Um, piece of fabric, it's just red velvet fabric. I'm going to show you how I make my panels when I haven't had time to. Oh, That's so pinning. It's a double crossbar hanger. Here we are going to use how to use those. Crossbar. So you're going to install across. We get into all of that. This is a pretty long video, and it goes step by step. So I'm just ju ju okay, jumping so around to show you some. Then we're going to add a balance. Pause that one. Showing you how to get your pleats perfect. So you get real up and close and personal with this video right here. And you'll see it step by step. Now we're building. And it goes, it goes, this one's this one right here is 36 minutes. And oh, I jumped out. My fault, guys. This all this is all of the courses right here. So let's go back in. So yeah, this we're still in module four. Um, so um, the red and gold backdrop is it's a really long video. It goes step by step, all the way up until the end. Like I said, it's like an hour long. Um, but it's breaking down. It's broken down into different videos, and then we have another design. And this is like when you're going to use, I'll show you step-by-step step for this one as well. This one is where you are using the chandelier. You're also using these crystal curtains here. And then I get into how to repurpose your panels. Like all of these are, are not um, individual panels. Some of them are doubled up. And then I also give you a quick little tip on how to make these, how to cover your poles. Um, so yeah, and like these embellishments where you can get those from, they different, they cute, they're not the same thing that, you know, like everyone else is having. And the black and white. So what's the triple layer? I don't even remember. I don't remember what color the triple layer was. So this is the step-by-step. -step. Oh, okay. So that was the, that one. This is all of those videos. Yeah, individually. So you can, you know, go to whichever one you want to see individually. So that's module four now. And module five is when we get into the mechanics of like your breakdown, how you're going to store it and how you want to care for it. Right. So, yeah, they videos on that. Um, and that segment is about 16 and then another eight is 24. It's about 30 minutes long together uh, all of those videos and then the last one is um module six module six is really really important because um, module six is all about your money right it's all about money and marketing and how to really pitch your service once you take this course so you definitely want to give you the breakdown of how to calculate your hourly wage and where to go to have it done automatically for you for free 
Then we get in different ways how you can charge. You can charge your backdrops various different ways. It's according to, you know, whatever suits your style, whatever's easiest for you to remember. Because normally, um, I know it's different things to take in effect when you are pricing your backdrops, but you should have a general idea. If someone was to submit you a picture and say, hey, how much is this? Even if that's how you run your business or not, you should know the price in your head, like automatically. Um, so we get into that, like ways to charge. Then I get into the pricing strategy, like how to come up with these prices, right? And that's about 20 minutes long. So that's kind of long. Then I get into how to package your services. You could do a couple of different ways how to package your new service. Also, how to build your portfolio. Like even if you don't, you know, say if you just took this course today and you clearly don't have no photos or no premium photos, I tell you exactly how to do that. Um, and it's the same thing I did in the beginning. And honestly, I still do because <laughs> I don't do draping as much because I do a lot of teaching now. But um, yeah, so it's still great little ways that you can get it done. Then I'll tell you what business tools that you should be using to make sure all of this is working, all of this is um, you know, trackable. You could be up on your analytics, you know exactly what you're doing and how you can make this a lucrative business. Like draping is a really lucrative business. And I think people, some people that especially that don't know, just look at it as an addition to other services. However, draping is so lucrative, it could be your only service provided. Not saying it is, but I'm just saying it could be if you are pricing uh, appropriately and if you are pr producing premium work, right? So I get into that. And then lastly, I tell you how to market your services. Now, do you want to go in here a little bit and show you the videos on this pricing strategies? Because it's it's like I got a lot of feedback on that as well. And I think when people see the word pricing strategy, they don't understand what's really happening in the pricing strategy. So I'm going to go in here and show you the work I did on a spreadsheet that just eliminates your guesswork. It's nothing for you to guess. You just plug in the numbers now, and you're good to go. And I'm just going to bounce around and wonderful. give you an idea. This is the pricing strategy. This is the complete work from what your client and your clients a dollar per foot. I break this thing down so easy. Like only F. it's self-explanatory. Right. And then another thing I want you to see, I believe is this one. Okay, so not only uh, that segment is about pricing, right? Along with this course, you also get 10 bonuses. This is cheat sheets, checklists, uh, the manual, um, you name it, it's in there, along with the VIP membership, right? So first you get your training manager your training manual. And that's 45 pages long. And it goes like pretty much tells you everything that I cover in the course. It, it gives you the PDF version. Um, where to get your items, all of that good stuff, right? So that's very detailed in that. Um, then we go to this pricing spreadsheet. Now, this is really important because this tells you exactly how to break down your backdrops. It like does everything for you. Guys, now you will discuss the fun part. At this point, are not a double layer. It would be one. So could you imagine having this? Let me just pause this. Could you imagine having this, right? And this is a spreadsheet. So the, the computation is already done. There's nothing for you to do. All you would do is Pick your number or whatever. It, I, I tell you um, in module six how you're going to come up with these, um, your design, breakdown design, right? So you just plug in your number. Here you would put in maybe a one, and then it would compute. Then if you got two tiebacks, you would put in the number, and it would compute. At the end, once you compute everything you have, look, it's changing. See, it's nothing for you to do. You pick them whatever you want, but for the sake of your content, Guys, I'm telling you, this thing, I, I didn't thought of everything I possibly could with this spreadsheet, and it saves you so much time. A, sim, a, a backdrop or, you know, um, how you can actually have that upsell to $3,200 backdrop. And you don't have to guess on how am I going to get it up to that number. All you do is take what your designs are or what your, you know, whatever your um, embellishments are, put them in there. 
and it does all the math for you. Like that was freaking amazing. All this number is, this is the number that you're going to put on. You can put this the entire breakdown on your quote, but this is the ultimate number of the price that you are going to give to your clients because it has your, it has your fees in there. It has your delivery fees in there. It has your staff. If you have staff, it has everything in there. So this really just eliminate all of your guesswork. I'm playing around with numbers just to show you different backdrops and like how they price accordingly. And then the backdrops that I designed earlier in the modules, I broke them down and showed you how they cost, the, how much they cost. Like I think the red, I can't remember, but I think the red was like 13 something. And for you to see the actual breakdown, it's all there for you. Um, 1585, it shows you exactly how to get to those numbers. So that alone is an amazing bonus that comes with this course. And you'll get this, you won't get, you'll still get the video, but you also get the file that you would download and then you would save it. And ultimately that's what you would be using until you just natively know how to do it on your own. Then I give you a consultation template. This is like something to use. Um, and it's just mainly the questions to use the questions, take my, um, all my branding stuff out and just use the questions, put your own branding stuff in there. I don't care. Um, your elevator pitch, this helps you with that, helps you how to learn it, how to tweak it and all that. So at the end, you should have your own elevator pitch, right? And it shows you some examples. And then that's what I want you to, guys to have there. Then for this bonus, bonus number five, say you have, you know, um, you may not know how to, um, you know, you may not know how to deal with objections, right? And if that's the case, fine. Or somebody may want to negotiate with you. So this gives you some different situations that could possibly happen and show you how to best to negotiate to make sure that you stay on top as the professional and make sure you stay the one with the leverage, right? So we get into all that. With that, that's a great, amazing bonus. I still use that, right? Like now I know I'm verbatim, but at first I had to learn them. But now I, I clearly know them verbatim. Um, this is the vendor list. Tells you the different, many different vendors I use from equipment, from wholesale vendors. And it's not just draping. It goes into floral. It goes into linen. It goes to um, everything that I've used. And, and, you know, I'm going to find the cheapest that I could find. It's in this, it's in this vendor list. Also, a site inspection sheet when you guys... Um, you know, if you guys are going to these inspections and not sure what to look for, and then you like, whoops, it's a fire extinguisher right there. And then you got to find out at the end, you got to design around it or it's a podium or, you know, like it's an exit, uh, an emergency exit. So this sheet helps you look for all those things that pop up and that way you could just kind of eliminate it. Then here's your packing list. Like I still have quite a bit of students to say they use this packing list. It just kind of eliminates, you know, any kind of, if you know your design, this helps you track how many panels you need. Whether well, you need two 15s or six 15s, um, 15 foot that is, or you need 21 feet, or so you need 10 feet. This is just a um, packing list that helps you with that. Um, then these are the backdrop sketches that I told you about that's available. Um, yeah, so this, you could just write down, you know, your, num your, your colors of choosing and where you would place them. So it can help you with a visual on just what to do. And then this is where you would just join the group. This is the, the link here. You would click the link and you would put in this passcode. So I know you went through the group and there you go. And that's for this course. So I hope you guys, um, kind of now get an understanding of what exactly is in this course and why I, it's valued to what is valued to because it is a really amazing course it takes all of the guesswork out it's done for you and when you're done watching it at your leisure you should be able to drape similar to me at least you know my techniques so hope this helped um if you're interested in purchasing it click the link while you get this amazing special by taking advantage of it now if you don't then you know it's going to go back to regular price so I'll see you guys later. Take care.